Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box video overview of the Chord Options dialog. The Chord Options dialog allows you to select various options in your song, such as rests, shots, holds, bass pedals, as well as pushes by clicking on the various settings. You can also cycle through the different beats in the selected bar and type in new chords as you move to different beats and bars. To access the Chord Options dialog, you can use the Alt F5 hotkey or just right click anywhere in the chord sheet and select chord settings. In the top left of the dialog, we have four radio buttons labeled one through four. These buttons represent the beats within the currently selected bar. Below these buttons, we have a box to enter chords on the specified beat. We can preview the chord input in this box with the preview button on the right. The update button will enter the current chord into the selected bar on the selected beat. You can also open the chord builder and the chord substitution dialogs directly from the chord options dialog. At the bottom of the dialog, we can move to the next bar or the previous bar. Here, we can set either 8th or 16th note pushes to the current chord. Pushes will be displayed in the chord sheet with the caret symbol ahead of the chord. One caret means a push by an 8th note, and two carats mean a push by a 16th note. Pushes are also displayed on the chord sheet in green. Just to the right of that is where you would set your rests. First, use the drop-down menu to select the type of rest you want. The options are rest only, shots, and hold chords. Rests are displayed on the chord sheet with a period after the chord. One period indicates a rest. Two periods indicate a shot. And three periods indicate held chords. Rests are displayed in red on the chord sheet. Once you have selected the type of rest you would like, you need to set which instrument you would like the rest to apply to. You can select all instruments or all except and then determine which instruments to exclude. The first letter of the excluded instruments will be displayed on the chord sheet as well. If you have selected shots or holds, you can also set whether or not the excluded instrument should rest or not. Down on the bottom left of the dialog, we now have an option for pedal bass. Pedal bass is a repetitive figure played by the bass on the same root note during a chord progression. You can set the bass part to play a pedal bass at any bar for a range of bars. For example, you can set the bass to pedal on a G note on beats 2 and 4 throughout the chord progression for 4 bars. This is useful for intros, interludes, and endings of choruses. The Clear All Bars button will clear any pushes, rests, shots, holds, or pedal bass options set for the entire song, while the Clear button will only clear the currently selected bar. Now that we have gone over all the controls in the Chord Options dialog, let's see it in action. Using the Chord Options dialog, I have set an 8th note push on beat 1 of bar 2. I've also set all instruments to hold on beat 1 of bar 3. And set a bass pedal on beats 2 and 4 at bar 5 for 4 bars. So now I'll just press OK, and then generate and play. Thanks for watching our video overview of the Chord Options dialog. Have fun!